Okay, we're going to talk about the type tool. I have a blank document. There's nothing going on. It's a eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, and it's landscape. And uh, we're going to add some text to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our text tool, which is about two thirds of the way down on the left side on your tool panel. It's the big thing that looks like a T. And uh, we're just going to click on that, and you can see as soon as we click on it, it highlight it kind of shades it in for us and then our icon has changed it looks like kind of like an open book or looks looks different so um, what we're gonna do now is there's two ways to use your tool and we're gonna sh we're gonna show you both first is just by clicking on your document you create a line of text um, so we're gonna this is used for mostly for titles and and smaller amounts of text so we're just gonna type in title Okay, so you can see it centered it for me because it's remembering all my settings from the last time I used the type tool. So it's remembering the font and the color, all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's see if we can want to change that. So I'm done with the type tool, so I'm going to click back on the move tool, which is at the very top of my tool panel. And if you notice on the right side, I have a layer called title. So it, with my move tool, I can click and drag since I'm selected on that layer. You can tell it's blue, so I'm selected on it. I was selected on the background layer, I couldn't move the title. It'll give me an error. So I'm going to click back on the title so I can kind of move it up and to the left. And let's say I don't like purple. I don't, and I want it to be a different font. Um, if I click on my type tool, there's two ways to do it. Click on my type tool, click back on the type. You can see I can edit it just like a word processor. I can add more letters in there. I can also highlight everything. And then the top menu, I can choose a different font. Say I want like a cursive font, and I want it to be a little bit bigger. So um, I can just choose one of these numbers. I can also click to the left of the text and drag left and right on the actual T. So if I click on the T and just drag to the right, click and hold, it will get bigger. Or what I like doing is just typing in a number. And then you can tell it's going off my page a little bit, which isn't a big deal. I'm going to grab my Move tool again and position it right about there. Okay. Uh, the other way to do it is um, to open up your Tools panel. And uh, your Character panel, actually, is what it's called. And it also has a Paragraph panel, which is attached to it, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to go up to Window. And you can either choose Character or you can choose Paragraph. They'll both come up at the same time. So I'm going to choose Character. And you'll notice this little Character panel came up. And I'm going to go ahead and dock this to the right side. So how you do that, this may be confusing, but I'm going to click this, these two little lines underneath. Um, there's a little X and two little arrows. Uh, I'm actually, there's two, two lines in between the icon for Character and the gray dark gray bar. I'm going to click that and I can drag it around. It kind of turns into a ghost. And you can see as I drag it to things, um, like a blue line pops up that says, do you want to put it here? Actually, I want to put it underneath the other one that I have here. So you can see I drag it a little closer. That little blue line comes up underneath. And now it's stuck there. So now, now I can just click on this and it's like a toggle now. I don't have to keep going back to window, character, all that stuff. So now uh, my little character panel is going to sit there. And uh, I have character up here and my paragraph panel here. So you can see if I wanted to change the font, I could come over here just with this title selected. I don't actually have to select the text now. I can just have this layer selected and I can change the font to something smaller or I can change the, the font actual type. Um, you also have a few other options in this box. You have kerning, uh, which is set to negative 25, which means the, the letters get closer together. If you want to spread them out, you can increase that. Um, you can also use these faux, uh, what they're called faux bold and faux, faux italic. And um, they're not really great for printing because um, it just uh, simulates bold. It's not actually a bold. If you need to find, if you actually need a bold, what you should do is find a font up here that has a bold and use it. Um, I won't go into the details of why, but the actual font has a bold in it. If you use this bold down here, it won't print very well. It'll look fine on the website. Um, if you use this this bold or um, big type or anything like that, but it won't look very good in print. So just keep that in mind. 
Okay, one, le one other thing is I'm going to change the paragraph. It's now centered. I want it left justified. So you see I can change the left justified, center justified, right justified. Um, so I'm going to turn it left justified and uh, move it up a little bit. So now if I add text, you'll see I go back to my text tool. I'll add text. Um, it comes in to the right. If it was centered, it would try and keep the whole thing centered. Um, now let's show you the other way to use it, the type tool. And I'm going to close this little window just by clicking on that icon for a second. And uh, I'm going to click up here for my move tool and just move this over a little bit. And then I'm going to click on my type tool. And this time instead of just clicking once, I'm going to click and drag a box. So this is for like if you want a paragraph or you want uh, another uh, a good amount of text, more than one or two lines to wrap. So you can see as I click and drag, I get this little, uh, what looks like a selection, a little, uh, we call it marching ants, and that's showing you uh, how big the box is going to be. doesn't really matter because you can always resize it once you're done, um, but we're going to get close somewhere in there. Okay, so you can see now I have this uh, box, so as the type hits the right side, it'll automatically wrap for me. And um, let's see here, let's, uh, let's just put in some type. Okay, um, hopefully you guys heard that. My dog has a hairball, so um, hopefully he's okay. But anyway, uh, this is the type tool, and uh, you can see I've typed a lot of stuff in here, and it's automatically wrapped for me. And I've actually typed a little too much text, and um, it's not showing up because you can see it's below this line. So it, this tool is only going to show what's in this box. Even if it's too long, it will cut it off, and you won't see it. So, just like we did before, I'm going to go back to my Move tool, and I can move this box around as long as it's selected in my Layers panel. And let's change, we don't want the same font as the title, so I'm going to change this to um, a yellow color. So in your, in your character panel, if you click on the color, you get the color picker, and you can go through here and choose any color um, you want, and I'm going to choose... Let's choose like a darkish blue. There we go. We like that one. And this needs to be a little bit smaller to make it more like a character. So we'll do, let's do 32 points so we can um, see it. So a 32 point is in here. So I could actually click on the type tool here and go up to 32. And then it automatically um, chooses that number for you. I'm also going to change the kerning back down to zero because it's uh, just a normal paragraph. And we probably don't need this bold, so I'm going to change this back to regular. You can see, remember, it, uh, Photoshop remembers all my presets from the last time I used this tool. So that's why those are uh, already in there like that. Okay, so I like that. And I'm going to change the paragraph to centered. You can see it centers it for you. Uh, justify will try and fill up that whole box. And justify the last, last line to the left, or justify the last line to the center, or justify the last line to the right or fully justified, we'll make sure each line goes to the whole edge of the box. So play with those. Um, usually if I'm going to use justification, I'm going to use left justified. So, so it fills up the whole box if you have a lot of type. This is usually what newspapers use. Um, the, other, the other type I use is this, uh, what we call ragged edge, left justification. Um, those are the two type tools. Um, play with them. They're just they just create layers, so nothing's permanent. You can always change it, or um, you know, if it's not what you want, go back and, and play with it a little bit. So um, if you wanted to change your 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 box, you could always you have to use your type tool. Click on your type, and you can change the the shape and size of your box at any time. So you can see uh, if I change the box size, it automatically wraps for me. And I can go back to my character panel and do justification. You can see um, it's doing different things for us. So either way, play with it a little bit and uh, have fun with type.